governments need to be willing to do things that are out of their historical perspective or for the most part it's it's really a, a war footing that we need to be on it can happen quickly a marshall type plan uh, you know i don't mean to say that exactly but a marshall plan mm -hmm. that can go into effect uh, can stimulate a change very quickly that's why i want the government to put itself on war footing to stop this thing get a manhattan project going for heaven's sake offer a huge prize to anyone who comes up with a cure more realistically we need to flood local community health organizations with the billions of dollars they're going to need to do their jobs think the marshall plan for community health we need a malcolm x approach to this thing as in by any means necessary so at the moment we want the fund right we need the money so where's the money there is global financing uh, the criteria identified here would be triggers for the pandemic emergency financing facility, which would disperse a significant mm -hmm. amount of money into that international pool uh, on the basis of this trajectory of the epidemic. The bonds had a high yield rate of nearly 12% and were set to mature in July of this year. But as always, there was a catch. If another major global outbreak occurred, investors would lose all their money. The deal clearly outlines the requirements for triggering such an event, specifically mentioning that if there's an outbreak of coronavirus, payment of bonds would be suspended. The scenario you will be presented with this morning could easily become one <clears throat> a shared reality uh, one day. I fully expect uh, that we will be confronted by a fast-moving, highly lethal pandemic of a respiratory pathogen. I believe the Emergency Committee tomorrow will consider uh, the merits of declaring a, a global public health emergency. To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. So how did China succeed in containing the virus? The World Health Organization has praised Beijing's response. Yes, I think he's doing it very professionally. We're also working with him and helping him as of the last few days, as you know.